啊。Hey buddies, today I'm going to do something I have never done before because I've never had one. I'm going to put this snow plow on, however I do have a snow blower for a custom. And this is a 69 Sears XL. And uh, it runs pretty good. Got a pretty good deal on it. And we'll go over it. This one's name is Gracie. This is Sandra's tractor. So now she has two orange tractors. This 68 Suburban 12. And now this, this 1969 Sears XL. Basically the same thing as a custom, but... We're not going to call it a custom, we're going to call it an 8 XL because that's what she prefers. Anyway, so... I'll show you how these go on. They're quite easy, but yet quite a pain in the ass. So you have get this so you can see it. Where is it? Okay, there we go. Almost had it. Right there. You have two bolts that go through the front axle. And then they go. through these two holes here. And that's pretty much it. The one thing that this tractor has that I've actually I think is probably pretty rare is these two bars here that are bolted to the frame. They also get put on at, on the front here. And uh, for support, I'm guessing, because uh, snowblowers also have them. But they're attached from the three-point hitch pin, and they go all the way to the front. But I've never seen these support bars before on one of these tractors, so I'm guessing people just didn't use them, and they got lost and tossed. So that's cool that they left these on. All right, let's get busy on this, and then we're going to go through. We're going to go over the tractor itself. Let me set it up here. Pause. I am not sure if you're going to be able to see this or not. I'm hoping you are, but I showed you where those bolts go. 
so you should have a good idea. So what I've got is some um, Allen screws, four washers, and four lock nuts. Put my washers on. I put my washers on. Washers on. Washers on. Start the notch. these bars see if you can see in there because I can't see the screen all right you got to put these bars on that ledge I just had it underneath that ledge and I wasn't able to bring it up and around so I mean, I could have easily took off the back end, but why this is just as easy. Okay, so, if you got that on the ledge, it goes through that hole. I don't know if you can see that hole. Yeah, see my, see my fingers there? See? See how I'm fudging it there? That's where that bar goes. And then a pin goes through that. I can set this camera back up here. Hopefully you can see what the hell I'm actually doing. Okay. So 
I'm putting this bar, this support rod, through that hole, and I'm, now I'm going to put a pin through it so it doesn't back out. And I think I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Got her in there. There we go. Lesson learned. Put the support rods in first. I know I only said four washers. You need eight.
Now we just tighten up those those nuts and it's on. Hardest part is getting that getting those support rods in first. You know, because they're probably a little bit sprung and they don't want to go exactly where you need to go, so you gotta do a bunch of bullshit and work with it. Really wasn't planning on buying this tractor, but she liked it, and it was a good deal because another tractor came with it, and a couple, a couple attachments and three-point hitch. Did I mention another tractor? It was a good deal, so I wasn't going to pass it up. Never pass up a good deal. Even though I'm running out of room and running, running out of room real quick. But I always, always find a place to put them. Just like my buddy Daniel. Always find a place to put tractors. don't have the support bars yeah it'll be a lot easier for you all right done done plow straight. Yeah. Yeah. It's done. So let's go over this Gracie, huh? Yeah? Okay. Let's go through this. 
There we go, that's better. So, we'll go look at this gas tank here. I know you're not going to be able to see, you never can see inside them, but you never know. Let's see here. Let me zoom in. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's pretty clean. And if you couldn't see, trust me, it is. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. So we're good there. And since we got that, since we got that uh, open. We'll just put some gas in there, because we're going to start it up. It hasn't been started up since, oh, August 20-something, I think, when we, when we actually bought it, and I actually got it. That was the last time it was run. So, we'll put some gas in her. Hopefully the carburetor won't won't leak. You know on these old Tecumsehs they like to yeah carburetors sometimes wanna leak when they've been sitting, you gotta tap the float bowl and everything will be all good. All good. All good. go to the oil next and I've already gone through this tractor so I'm just showing you guys just because it's dirty but it's full All right okay she'll get her oil change in the spring because this is going to be a backup tractor or if Sandra wants to help me plow this winter. She's got a tractor to do so. All right, the air filter is is dirty, but we'll be running it in the winter. How much dust is in the winter? Zero. But I show you anyways. There it is. I've got one. I got a brand new one, but that belongs to another tractor. So I'll have to get get one for this. All right, hopefully the battery's good. It was the last time. Yeah, turn on the gas now. Chokey, chokey, choke. Of course, you know, it's going to take a little while before that, you know, pump gets in there. Give her a little, see how it goes. Take a little bit. Got to pump that fuel up there.
sounds pretty damn good, doesn't it? Oh, yes it does. Yes it does. There you go, everybody. I gotta move that. Are you signing off? No, not yet. Alright, I'm going back in. It's chilly out here. I don't have a coat on. Oh, terrible. Oh, stop it. Oh, knock it off. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's see. Is it okay? Are we leaking anything? No. no. Try it. Try again. Try again. I gotta cover that up. there you go okay now on to a question question I had about this tractor or Zadra had about this tractor and this segment is for that person They have a, they have one just like this. And he wanted, or they, she wanted, they wanted a picture of the fuel pump because their grandfather took the fuel pump off and wants to know Some things about it. So, let me zoom in here. Get this dialed in. Okay, there it is, right there. Hopefully, it'll focus. Oh, focus. No. No, we don't want to focus now. Never want to focus. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Oh, 
gas. <sighs> no, okay. Well, anyway, there it is. Right there. Right there, right there. Fingers on top of it. Okay, and you wanted to know something about you just wanted a picture of it and how the gas lines are something like that or how, and how a breather is on this so I'm going to try to get this for you okay here comes from the shut off valve here comes down into this side here looks like we leak a little gas Okay, and then it gets screwed on right here, right onto the carburetor. Carburetor. Where is it? Right there. Gets screwed right in there. And then your breather, crankcase breather. Uh, let me see if I can get to the other side. I don't know. Okay, no, I cannot. I cannot. I've been denied it. Okay. Uh, look here. Okay, there it is. All right, I see it. I'm going to hold this sideways so you can see it. Oh, actually, I can put the legs down. Bear with me, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional. Never claimed that was. This is a dude that does this stuff for fun. Hobby, another hobby. Okay. Pointer stick. Let's see if you can see it. Ah, you can't. I don't have a flashlight either. But your breather comes down here, right on the bottom. It's a hose that goes down another crankcase. Right down. find it dark in there but I could see it fine <laughs> so maybe it's the angle I'm at maybe the screen angle let's see here where are we at right. yeah it will not focus but I'm sure you know you will get you know where it is you said it your grandpa taped it up so you know where it goes and it's a hose and well I think I think that about does it I don't can't remember if he had any more questions or not I know the fuel pump was what it was but you know, uh, if you find, if you happen to find your grandpa's old one, you know, he probably took it off because it was acting up or something, and you can buy rebuild kits for him still. Well, ooh, yeah, you still can, I'm sure. I know I did, but I bought mine from Sears, and now they're no longer, so, or whatever, but. I don't know what's going on with that. 
but I'm sure you can find one. You can, and like you said, you could find plastic repo. But again, you can look on eBay too. But yeah, I know I know those people too. They, they like to charge way more than what it is should be. So uh, good luck with that, anyways. See if I can get the uh, yeah we were having a heck of a time trying to figure out what year this was but it is a 69 this is a 69 engine just trying to remember where the heck that I saw that number Oh yeah, you can barely see it. Barely see it. First I gotta get the camera in there. Oh, it says... And where the heck is that number? Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it starts out. It starts out nine. Nine, I think it's nine three one one. So there you have it. And then you got another number. I don't know. It says my buddy Daniel thinks it's a seventy. So. And this number here says 08408. And that number there, serial number says 9311. So I don't even know what number that is. And if it, you know, if that was the case, zero would make it a 70, but it starts out 9311. So, whatever. We're going to call it a 69 and be done with it. So, I hope you enjoyed the videos. You vid ya. Uh, I can take this damn thing off. And, uh, you know, you can, uh, Thumbs me up, you know, finger me up, whatever, like it, give me a like, give me a share, all the good stuff, if you found it helpful, if you found this video helpful, great, leave a comment, say hey man, that helped me a lot, you know, so, it's, it's uh, <clears throat> If it didn't help you, I mean, you just like watching my videos, that's cool, you know. So. Oh, I know, I remember the other, I remember the other question from that guy. He was wondering what kind of implements he can put on it. Well, there you go. There's one. We just put one on there, right? Now, if you got one of these three-point hitch well you can put this on it oh where the heck is it you can put this on it let's go on over here You can put this on it. You can put that on it. A plow. Got yourself a pen. You can put it that on it. An aerator. 
You can put on whatever you want on the back of that thing. Really. Uh, you know, I got some more stuff back here. I can give you a show of it. See? You can put that on it. And I've already showed you one of those. You can put one of those on it. You can put a halo on it. Anything that goes in the back you can put on. Regardless. Oh, you can even put one of these on it. Oh yeah, you have to make it though. That's my that's the other tractor by the way. You'll see vidges on that one later. Probably springtime. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you later.